quarantine for the vaccinated and the recovered travelers in Qatar. Remember, this comes into effect in February 28th due to the decrease in the number of the COVID cases. Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across on this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to press that notification bell. It will be the only way that you'll be updated when I upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back for this channel and thank you for watching videos to this channel. I appreciate it. For the new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much. By the way, don't forget to click the bell icon. Don't forget to give up the thumbs up. It's the only way I'll be motivated to upload more videos. In today's video, we are going to look at the latest update, the quarantine, the COVID-19 restrictions, and the latest travel updates in Qatar. Remember, Qatar removes the hotel quarantine for the fully vaccinated and the recovered residents in Qatar. Remember, before we talked about the Atlas, whereby there was an update of a new feature on the Atlas app that includes what you call the recovered people. The recovered people that must have been that might have been infected with the COVID-19 in the last month. A new feature was increased, uh, included in the Atlas app, meaning that they can also enjoy the more the travel and the travel privileges like the other groups of people that are fully vaccinated in one way or the other. Remember, the Minister of Public Health announced a new update on the COVID-19 travel and the returning policy in Qatar. It will come into effect or it will come into effect on Monday, 28th February, starting from 7 p.m. That is what we call the Qatar time. The update comes into, uh, comes into effect with a noticeable decrease in the number of the COVID uh, cases in Qatar, uh, in the cut and the successful vaccination which has been carried out in Lacan, remember, uh, almost over a million a million doses of uh, the COVID booster have already been uh, have already been administered to uh, the residents living in the country, which has been a very great milestone away to the country and the vaccination process. As part of the travel and the return policy updates. To Qatar. The Minister of Public Health has changed the list of the country classification according to the risk of COVID-19 from green list, from green, red and exceptional red to what we call standard health measures and the, the red measures. Remember, the, the, the countries have been upgraded or have been classified according to what we call the standard health measures and the healthy measures. Removing it back from what we call the green list and the, the red list otherwise uh, uh, then being termed in that form so in this video we are going to see what are those exceptions what are those exceptions and what are those countries in the green list or in that kind of category so that's what we want to see and see what what kind of uh, uh, what kind of uh, exceptions are being given to people those that are unvaccinated the vaccinated and those that are immune all those coming from what we call the um, healthy the red healthy measures all those ones that under what you call the standard healthy measures in one way or the other one let us try to go into one of these exemptions I'll just read you a summary of what I got out of uh, uh, what exactly is prospered or what the government uh, is actually done on its website. You see, countries in the red list are Bangladesh, Egypt, Georgia, India, Jordan, Nepal, Pakistan, Philippines, and Sri Lanka. These countries are still in the red list. What does it mean? Anyone that coming from that country uh, and is not fully vaccinated or has not got all the doses as that are required by the, uh, the government of Qatar or by the Minister of Public Health in Qatar will need to undergo a quarantine and will need to present what we call a negative PCR test on arrival. That must have been taken within the last 50, 48 hours from the departure of the airport. We say one, we say one, two, citizens coming from this country with the standard health measures do not require a PCR test before coming to Qatar. If fully vaccinated or recovered, they are exempted from the quarantine and only need what we call a rapid 
antigen test within the 24 hours of arrival for these countries for members coming from this country if they follow what we call the health, uh, the standard health measures do not require a pcr test however in the 24 hours of their arrival to anywhere they will have to go they will need to take what we call a rapid anti gene test within the 24 hours of arrival number three unvaccinated or non-immune will need a five-day home quarantine and need a pcr test with the 24 hours of arrival plus a rapid antigen test on the five days of uh, five days of home quarantine we need those are unvaccinated they are unvaccinated meaning they're unvaccinated and unimmune and at the same time they are coming from what we call the red list countries they will need what we call a 24 they will need first of all they will need what we call a negative pcr test they will also uh, need what we call a rapid antigen test rt uh, the five five days of what you call the home quarantine remember most of these groups we are talking about we are talking about uh, being done a home quarantine, not hotel quarantine at this. And we are looking at the antigen, then we are looking at the negative PCR test, or we look at the TCR, uh, uh, PCR test requirements that are being supposed or supposed to be provided. So the members that are coming from these countries that I read, that is Bangladesh, Egypt, Georgia, India, Jordan, Nepal, and Pakistan, and Philippines, and Sri Lanka. It's a little bit caution. You must be take these things as very serious to avoid what we call falling into the penalties that must be issued by uh, not following the guidelines or the travel guidelines of ASI by the Ministry of Public Health. Uh, we look at number four, citizens coming from red wrist or what we call the red healthy major countries do not need what we call a PCR test. If they, fully, if they are fully vaccinated or recovered, are exempted from quarantine. They will need a rapid antigen test within the 24 hours of arrival. Then uh, another number we say, those citizens who are unvaccinated or non-immune must submit a negative PCR test uh, lab result with the validity of what you call 48 hours from departure time at the country of origin and will need a five day home quarantine. They will need to present a PCR test which is negative within 24 hours of arrival plus what you call a rapid antigen test on day five of the home quarantine. We, we are looking at those countries uh, we are looking at countries, the red list, then we look at countries coming from the non, uh, what we call the um, uh, non-immune, or uh, those ones are non-immune, the unvaccinated and unvaccinated at one time. Well, remember, if, for example, you are unvaccinated, that means you are non-immune, that means you are prone to what you call the COVID-19 and you will need what you call a five-day home quarantine, which will, again, at the same time, you'll have to present what you call a negative PCR test uh, on from the uh, PCR test uh, from the departure of your country of origin, of your airport of origin. And on arrival, on the five, five days, on 24 hours at Qatar, you need to present what you call a negative PCR test that must have been taken in the last 24 hours. And uh, remember that, still another requirement is that you will take, we will do what we call a home quarantine and you will do what we call a rapid antigen test on the day five of the home quarantine until they will specify until they'll find out whether they have to let you free then uh, uh, residents coming from countries with the standard health measures do not require a PCR test before coming to Qatar if fully vaccinated or recovered they need a rapid antigen test within the 24 hours when we call about when we talk about residents coming from countries with the standard health measures the standard health measures we are talking about countries that are coming from where we call the green list countries those are called the green list countries if this if you are um, if you are fully vaccinated if you are coming from one of the countries we call the green list and if you are vaccinated and uh, you are fully vaccinated uh, you do not need what we call a negative pcr test to leave your country from your country or airport of departure uh, at that same time otherwise you will only take what we call an antigen test in the 24 hours of arrival and that is will be, will be all all and that's they will just let you go at one time however for situations when you look at what we call the red uh, the hell the red uh, what you call the uh, red 
the red healthy standards those are countries coming from what you call the yellow list those are what you call the yellow list countries a little bit prone to be to get covid so those ones they will need what we call a pcr test which is taken within 24 hours and they also have to take what we call an uh, uh, an antigen test and remember they will also need what we call a negative pcr test that would be that should be taken from their airport of departure then unvaccinated or non-immune residents will need five days home quarantine and need what you call a pcr test within 24 hours of arrival plus what you call a rapid antigen test on day five of the home quarantine remember this time we are not talking about hotel quarantine but we are talking about what you call home quarantine at this time and we're talking about home quarantine where you should quarantine yourself for five days you should take an antigen test and you should have a negative PCR test. If you are unvaccinated and you are non-immune, which means you are unvaccinated and immune, you are coming from what we call you're coming from what we call a yellow, or you're coming from what we call a yellow uh, uh, a red list exception raised list countries and you know the countries that i talked about if your residents coming from there you need what we take that you need that then we say residents that are coming from red healthy measure countries do not need a pcr test if fully vaccinated and recovered and are exempted from quarantine they will need only a rapid antigen test within the 24 hours of arrival when we talk about red health measures countries we are talking about countries that fall in the category of what we call the yellow yellow list uh, yellow list countries that are exempted they do not need a PCR test from their country of departure however they will need to take what we call uh, an antigen uh, an antigen test uh, in the home quarantine and also they will need to, to take what we call uh, they will be exempted remember we talked about the people that are exempted or we talked about people that are we are recovered from COVID in the last nine months that we are also at this time we see for the uplift of the, the restrictions or the updates that we have they are also enjoying the same privilege that are poor people who are fully vaccinated they, they were enjoying before which is actually very good news as per now and as per the travel the travel and the return policy which is very good for the especially for residents in Qatar so thank you so much for this you yeah, are definitely we, we just given a hand of applause to the Ministry of Public Health and also I call I call upon everyone that has not taken what you call the booster dose you go for the last three booster dose so long as you your last uh, date of your second dose of vaccine uh, had already elapsed which is a nine months it's better you go for the booster dose uh, so that you can be on safer side at all the time then uh, also, we see residents who are unvaccinated or non-immune must submit what we call a negative PCR test travel lab results with a validity of 48 hours from departure time at the country of origin. And they will need what we call a five days home quarantine. They will need a rapid antigen test or what we call a one day hotel quarantine these are also we are the residents we are talking about the residents that are coming from from these countries the non-immune countries those are the red list countries that we talked about in case they are in case a person comes from a traveler comes from that country and is unvaccinated probably what he need he will need a five day whole a five days hotel quarantine and you will need what we call a rapid antigen test which must be taken in one day of the whole quarantine or five days which must be immune so probably uh, people uh, who are still on the disadvantaged side we are looking at the people that are coming from what we call the red list countries the people are groups i talked about uh, those countries that are still coming from what we call the red list countries however still to stress as the minister of public health is stressed is still in, in its cassette it says that visitors if you are a visitor and you are coming from countries with the standard health measures, you must submit what you call a negative, uh, negative PR travel uh, a lab or what you call a, a PCR test from the lab results and with the validity of what you call 48 days from departure time at the country of origin. However, if you are fully vaccinated and recovered, they are exempted from what we call the quarantine. When we talk about the visas coming from countries with the standard healthy measures, we are looking at countries 
those are coming from what we call the green list countries uh, uh, those countries that are coming from those what we call the green ca- list countries that however so however if they are not vaccinated you should carry what we call a negative pcr test uh, travel up uh, result that is coming from the air uh, country of departure or airport of departure and should present that should be have taken into within uh, the last 48 hours from the departure time at the country of origin however for the same case uh, if unvaccinated or non-immune uh, non-immune visitors there will be what you call a five days or, or hotel quarantine or what you call a home quarantine for those with uh, what we call the first degree relatives or a condition that proof of relationship or residence provided they will need what we call a rapid change at uh, day five of the hotel home quarantine when you talk about unvaccinated or uh, first uh, first degree relatives we are talking about if your children are coming with you and they've not been to this country if your wife is coming to you you have to prove a point that is actually you're in a relationship and you're married together with what you call a certificate at one time and if your children then you have to prove to the to, to the authorities that or the immigration authorities uh, that these are my first degree with relatives or anyone that is so great and great but in case these people are unvaccinated that means they will undergo what you call a five-day hotel quarantine and oh the five-day hotel quarantine or they will also uh, do what we call a rapid antigen test on the day five of their stay in hotel uh, still further more to discuss or further note to note by the ministry visitors coming from what we call the red healthy measure countries if fully vaccinated or recovered must submit what we call a negative p uh, pre-travel pcr lab result with a validity of what we call 48 uh, 48 hours from the departure time of the country of origin they need a one day hotel quarantine and a rapid antigen test on the day one of the hotel quarantine so meaning that at the wherever say wherever you um, people will be late through and uh, late late through to go or for home quarantine on that actual day of day five day, day five uh, you'll have always you have to present what you call a negative test that is being uh, done by the antigen uh, test however to to some extent the unvaccinated non-immune visitors are not allowed entry if you are unvaccinated and non-immune visitors you will not be allowed to, to entry into Qatar at that same point however this all comes together it says it has uplifted it has given chance to the people who are fully vaccinated that have gotten the three doses of the vaccine especially the residents are in Qatar and you're stuck out there and you want to come back it's a very good opportunity right now for you to come back and for that case if you've not taken the second booster third booster dose it's a higher chances or a better chances for you right now to go and take the booster dose because remember the Aptras, Aptras app will change and the golden uh, ring will disappear if you've not taken what you call a booster uh, dose this latest update comes in to effect on monday 2028 when we have uplift of where the vaccinated and the fully recovered will no longer need what we call a hotel quarantine in qatar thank you so much for coming back to this channel thank you so much for coming back to this channel it is max max from the next creation remember to give up the thumbs up it will motivate me to make more videos comment and share i'll always be more and more and very happy more than happy to get back to you uh, put a comment in the comment section and you let me know what you'd like me to talk about and what you want me to to to, to let you know that is happening in Canada. thank you so much see you again in the next video as we try to, see, to discover more of these stories it's makes from the mixed creation stage by the way don't forget to subscribe don't forget i'm pressing that bell, bell uh, notification bell so only will be updated when we upload a new video thanks so much see you again in the next video